fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Visualize with me. What comes to mind when you hear the catchphrase, a man's best friend? Dog. Dog. A golden retriever, possibly? One that when you throw a ball, he actually goes and gets it and brings it right back to you constantly and constantly and constantly? Or how about when you tell him to sit and he sits and he looks at you and he's waiting for his man? Only if that was the case with my girlfriend's dog, Kaya. <laughs> See, I first met Kaya when I went to go pick up Heather on our first date. I go to the door. I knock on, knock on the door, and I hear this. Oh, oh, oh! I said, I, I, I definitely had the wrong house, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I checked my text messages, and yeah, it was right. It was the right house. So I waited to see. Okay, I know she said she had a dog, but well, how bad could it be? And so I, I went in, and here he is yelling, yapping. 30 pounds, very small, golden brown, one and a half years old. Oh. Don't you. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> but Kaya, he loved me and he hated me. As our relationship went on, I realized he had an agenda for me in mm -hmm. my, my girlfriend's relationship. To embarrass me and to make my life very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me start with embarrassing. Kaya's breed is a Shiba Inu. They're known for their deceitfulness, their sneakiness, and their independence. And Kaya, in particular, he's a male, and he's a little bit of a ladies' man. <laughs> Not sure where he picked this one up, but he has a palette for panties. <laughs> yes, that's right, panties. So, one day, Heather runs out. Runs out. And she says, "Kai just got in all my underwear. He just he just ate them all." <laughs> so I was like, "What?" I'm like, "Underwear." I'm like. Okay, so I'm like, are you sure you didn't look somewhere else? You sure it's not hidden underneath the dryer? No, nope, that was not the case. He fully ingested. <laughs> so the next day, Heather's like, I'm ru I'm rushing out to work. I you have to walk Kaya for me. I said, all right, no problem. That's good. So I'm walking Kaya. Like I like I mentioned, he's very small, less than 30 pounds. And here I am. I just got done working out, so I looked a little, a little heavy that day. <laughs> and you know, he's down here, not even past my ankles. And there was a, like a little family walking their dog. And then they came over to Kaya, and they said, "Oh, it's such a pretty dog. What kind of dog is it?" Like she you know. And Kaya was getting a little. He didn't go to the restroom yet, so he was getting a little anxious. And I could tell. And then I said, "Well, okay, let me, uh, let me walk him over here real quick." And then the children. We're watching patiently. Caius began to do his business, and I started seeing a little color. Oh no! And I said, "Please, no! Please, no! Right now, please!" The, the children were looking. And one said, "Mom, look! It's the rainbow!" <laughs> yes, he pooped at his panties outright on the grass in front of his family. <laughs> One of my most embarrassing times. The second embarrassing time was when I was walking and I had a couple friends that were coming over and they're driving by and I'm walking by it. And all of a sudden he just gets the urge, but he starts humping my knee. He grabs a hold of it and I said, Guys, stop, you gotta get off me. And my friends were driving by and they just kept on going. <laughs> <laughs> well, expensive. I have a little bit of an expen expensive taste. Those who know me know that. Kaya knows that. 
and he capitalizes on it. Because when he sees my shoes, and I've learned from this, but I must have spent over a thousand dollars just in merchandise, because his second favorite taste on his palate is leather. Belts, wallets, shoes. He loves to eat leather. And then he accepts them. And then he embarrasses me in the dog park. <laughs> you might think that I have a lot of animosity built up against Kaya, but the truth is, is I love him unconditionally. So no matter what he does, I can never spank him because when he knows that he's done wrong, he just gives me this face right here. <laughs> and that's when I know that all the money, all the embarrassment in the world could never replace him with a golden retriever. And I love him. Thank you. <laughs>